Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, we had a little bit of volatility today. Warned you earlier in the week that today we had a GDP data uh, come out. We had Jerome Powell speak and tomorrow we've got core PCE inflation data. I might actually do a live stream tomorrow um, depending on when it is. Well, I know when it is, but if I have no other no other commitments, I will do a live stream and you will find that anyway, uh, the link on the channel. But yeah, so we were looking at some additional volatility. It did go to the upside. So we had a little bit more whipsaw price action, a little bit of um, roller coaster price action. And we currently sort of, to summarize it, basically on smaller time frames, we are going to zoom in in a minute yeah, here into this section. Basically, we are between, in my opinion, a bearish downward move, okay, and between a trend reversal to the upside. We're just sort of in the gray area in between, sort of, which makes it really difficult. So I think it's still important to understand what are the relevant levels. They haven't changed at all, so they are still very much relevant. We just had some distortions today, some small distortions on the smaller time frames. Haven't really moved. Um, well, basically we have moved in a volatility kind of way, but we haven't really made any significant progress in the chart. But we nevertheless want to take a look at the smaller time frames because we had some whipsaw price action, which caused a lot of rapid up and down movements within a range. So we're going to take a look at that. Overall, never forget about the daily time frame. Still bullish here due to this impulse to the upside into the April highs. And now this WXY correction to the downside. As I explained to you, the low is potentially already in, but that would not be the uh, preferred scenario until we see further evidence for that. That cautious approach has helped us um, a lot of time, times to, um, well, not get caught in a trap, basically. So we need to see some evidence. What do I need to see? What do I need to see to confirm that a low is in place? Just to make that very clear, I feel it's important everybody un understands that. I need to see off this low, which was made on the 11th of September, a wave one to the upside, a wave two to the downside, a wave three to the upside, a four and a five. This is what could play out now in the bullish scenario. However, I need to see, uh, first of all, to make that a primary scenario that we get five waves up, or at least that I'm tracking it, I need to see a break above, first of all, 27,480, plus then a break above the end of August high, which is around 28,200. And then we could get close to 30K in a five wave move to the upside. This is at the moment still the alternative wave count, but we're sort of in between the bullish and the bearish one <clears throat> on the smaller time frames. Yeah, I mean on the larger time frame here on the daily time frame, we're tracking higher anyway. Okay, so targeting sort of when it finally kicks off the area between forty-four nearly yeah and fifty-two k for that next larger move to the upside. Never lose sight of that. Okay, and I'm I'm always highlighting. If you plan to take the big move into, let's say, that third wave or even higher, right? Do not be concerned about finding the perfect entry point on the one hour time frame. That just doesn't make sense, okay? So if you want to take a big move, for example, trade the next bull market rally, you should not be concerned about finding the absolute low of the bear market to find an entry. That, ju that just doesn't make any sense, okay? So we, we always need to be aware what time frame we're talking about. In my opinion, most money will be made on this move to the upside. So we want to make sure that we're positioned well. Yeah, so, but this five wave move to the upside, which could happen now, but I haven't seen enough evidence, okay? Certainly there are some things because we broke through some micro resistance levels. Nothing too noteworthy, but obviously when these, because I think a couple were broken today, so it is to a degree noteworthy. They are only micro resistance levels, though. It's, they're not too relevant, but we are. If, if it carries on like that, then we will break above certain levels. We take a look at them on the shorter time frame, and that will make this white wave count to the upside more likely. And then, however, five waves up alone still provide an opportunity to follow our wave count lower. Okay, so this C wave could still play out. For example this B wave could just reset a little higher. That is technically possible because we would say A wave down, yeah, B wave up, C wave down. Absolutely possible. That could be this five wave move could be part of that B wave. 
in an ABC structure, right? So the C wave would be the five wave move. That is still a possibility. That's why I say so often we need to see five waves up and the subsequent ABC corrective pullback. And this gives us a one, two setup. This is really the reliable setup that we're waiting for, for a breakout that will enable a breakout higher in, let's say, a third wave rally. Okay, so that is a likely option. Yeah, I've been showing that on the on the charts for, for a few weeks as white wave count, not the preferred option until we see a break above 27,480. And that has been a consistent message. But obviously with the pr uh, price action today, we want to take that more seriously, but I still haven't seen a break above resistance. It feels a little bit like price action here end of August, which was a bit similar, right? So just be aware of that. That's why we are following the same process time and time again. We want to make sure that we understand that we need five waves up instead of just three waves up. So until I see further evidence for that, um, let's say the primary wave count is a direct pathway lower, but we're currently trying to change trend, right? So there are some indications, obviously, that we are that we are tracking. Okay, so that's the daily time frame. Now let's take a look at the shorter time frame here. Um, the immediate downside setup, the immediate downside setup today was um, invalidated. Yeah, the micro resistance level and Bitcoin might also invalidate this one here at 29,180. But that's not entirely clear. Certainly the last move down here was also just in three waves. So it could certainly still push higher. And if it then takes out that 27,480 level, yep, then we need to take this five wave move to the upside uh, higher um, quite seriously, okay? So we were tracking it already, but not as primary wave count. You will remember that we've talked about that over the last few weeks as a bullish option. Um, always worth knowing what happens if certain resistance levels break. But again, we haven't taken out that 27,480 level and I need to see a sustained break above that level, okay? It, this here is that kind of price action where it might briefly break it and then crash down. Just be aware of that. I mean, be aware that there is a lot of, uh, there can be a lot of fluctuations on these smaller time frames. We also talked about, but I can't tell you everything, right? Because there are just a lot of scenarios that it doesn't really matter if they play out because they don't really lead to a, to a new result. But for example, it could be that this is just the B wave triangle. We were talking about that, okay? So this B wave triangle, however, if if this movement is a triangle, basically something like, that's just roughly okay um it would still break to the downside okay most likely if it's a b wave triangle and it would simply have delayed the sell-off but i explained to you uh, that this is a possibility in previous videos as well essentially it is really that uh, 27,480 level and then the end of august high that are dividing between a pathway to the downside and the more aggressive move to the upside. And when we move higher, we still need to see those five waves up and the subsequent three wave pullback for the next reliable trade setup. Anything that's happening here in between um, isn't really giving us a reliable long trade setup in my opinion, okay? I was still tracking this one two setup for you already anyway, but um, yeah. So at the moment, as long as we stay below 27,480, the situation hasn't really changed. The, looking at the micro count, I mean, this could still be a wave one down, which bottomed in September, then a wave two up. Another one, two setup here. This is still possible, but then it needs to turn to the downside right now if we have a one, two, one, two setup. Or there's also possible this is a wave one. And then um, basically like an A, B, C structure. And this wave two gets reset, which is also possible as long as we don't break above the end of August high. So again, there are still enough possibilities for the price to form a top here. But I explained that on Discord and Telegram earlier today. We're basically now in the sort of the annoying middle, you could say, in no man's land between a more direct sell-off where we had a really nice setup actually, which broke, which is what setups do. So you should never be surprised if a support area breaks or resistance because that's what they do, especially on smaller time frames. Um, but that broke, unfortunately. So we are sort of now in the in-between space where it's not bullish yet, but it's also not clearly bearish anymore. 
So it's rather uncertain. So I think we need to wait. We just need a little bit of patience now to see uh, how Bitcoin decides. I think the levels are very much clear and they have been clear. So really um, good to know that they are not moving. So you, you basically know what the levels are that we need to be watching. What I can tell you is um, obviously due to this short term uptrend here today, yeah, Bitcoin obviously climbed higher here. Um, never broke the trend line that I showed you in the previous video. So explain to you that as long as it's climbing above the trend line, you know, we have no indication that this uptrend is over. That's also worth noting, okay? So you can really only short with um, with the top in place, okay? So we, were, we had stapling green candles today. So there was actually, there was no indication that the top was in place. So just be aware of that. And also... Um, yeah, what is the first sign, right, that a, what is the first sign that this is failing this ready? Well, price level to watch for me is, um, let me see. Yeah, the first level where I would say that this is probably failing would be a break below 26,690. So if we see a break below that, especially in five waves, then it's probably coming down again. Maybe it could give us some more whipsaw price action. Um, it looks more and more like an like an annoying range here. Yeah, but I think there is not much more to add now. Um, I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.